What's up, y'all? It's Sports Kid here with my 2023 Miami Hurricanes college football predictions. Here we go. Let's get into it. Last year, Miami went five and seven. Very disappointing. This year, they should go. Uh, are predicted to go between seven to have between seven and eight wins. 19 total players return, nine on offense and 10 on defense, and three players were drafted in the 2023 draft. The recruiting class was very good um, with a top 10 ranking falling in at 8. And the transfer portal ranking is also in the top 10. There were two 5-star commits that are going to Miami. Francis Mualgoa, probably butchered that. He went to IMG Academy, plays offensive line, and is the second best player from the state of Florida. Samson... Uh, Akunolia Nola, I probably butchered that too, is also an offensive lineman. He is from Massachusetts, and he's the number one player from Massachusetts. This is the, those are their top two recruits. They will be freshmen this year. There were 13 four-stars uh, along with them and 10 three-stars in that class for the eighth overall ranking. This is a very, very good transfer portal as well for Miami. Total of 16 transfers and seven of those players will be starters. I believe all these four, all four of these transfers will be starting uh, that have on the screen. We have Javion Cohen, interior offensive lineman, transferring in from Alabama. Matt Lee, another interior offensive lineman from UCF. Francisco Mualgoa, I, I believe he's Francis, his brother five-star uh, recruit could be wrong maybe they're just related somehow um he's plays linebacker and is transferring from washington state and Devonte brown is another ucf transfer but he plays cornerback along with those four guys there are three other um transfers that will be starting on this team for the ratings just my opinion on how good a team's going to be out of 10 um on the offense and defense this year, Miami gets an 8 on offense from me. This is a very experienced team. Um, Tyler Van Dyke is improving, I think, uh, and they could be pretty good this year. Defense is just a little bit worse than the offense. Um, still pretty strong, and it should be quite good in the ACC. Here is the schedule. This is the most important part of the video. Um, I'll break down each game sort of a little bit Schedule difficulty is a B um, They do play a lot of pretty decent teams in the ACC But uh, they also play a lot of crummy teams in the ACC To start out against the other Miami there. That's right. That's right. There are two Miamis in uh, Division one college football This Miami that they are playing is Miami of Ohio um, Battle of Miami. I don't know if they've ever played before. That would be a cool series. Uh, Miami should absolutely dominate this game, though. Uh, Miami, Ohio is, well, in Ohio, but they're also part of the MAC Conference. It is a group of five conference, and the school and team, uh, just not great in comparison to Miami. Next up, the Canes play Texas A&M, my school, a little bit of bias here, but I am going to say it'll be a close loss at home for the Hurricanes. Uh, A&M looking to improve from the terrible season last year. So is Miami, same boat. Um, last year, the game was played in College Station where A&M won this year. It's on the it's on the road for, for A&M at home for Miami in, uh, in Miami. Anyway, I think a and going to get a close-ish win that game. Uh, fun fact, I'll be there. Next game is against Bethune-Cookman. That is an FCS school. Miami should absolutely dominate in that game uh, and get a big win. Next up, Miami plays Temple. This is interesting. Um, I don't know if it's a home-and-home, home, um, but Miami, at, le at least this year, is on the road. And they'll play the Temple Owls in Philadelphia. Um, Temple is an American conference school. They haven't been great recently. 
Um, I think they might have hired a new head coach. I could be wrong. Um, but they're looking to get better. Although this year, I think Miami should uh, head north to Philadelphia and win that game pretty solidly. Next, we have Georgia Tech, who will probably be one of the worst teams again in the ACC. Uh, this is another home game for Miami. Four of five of their first games are at home. I think this should be another Miami win by pretty solid numbers. I'm thinking Miami is four and one at this point in the season. And with, that, with how many points their offense should be able to score against these teams, um, I'm thinking they should probably be a top 25 team at this point. Now they do play in their next two games, probably the two most difficult, well, two best teams in the conference. We have North Carolina on the road, which I think is going to be a close loss. In Chapel Hill, it's very difficult to win there, I think. Um, Drake May will be there for his, I don't know, I think his second season. Um, I think UNC is going to be pretty good, probably the third best team in the ACC. Um, and I think the uh, Tar Heels are going to get that win. Next up, we have Clemson, who's coming off of their bye week. This is a home game for Miami. Um, I don't think that Miami's going to win this game either. Back-to-back -back games against some of the top teams in the ACC. Back-to-back um, -back losses is what I'm thinking in those weeks. Next up, we have UVA, which is going to be a close-ish win. UVA is also competing to be one of the worst teams in the conference. Very um, interesting competition find out who the worst team is uh, Miami should win that one pretty solidly to have a record right now of five and three not great um, I do play some more games though hopefully they can improve next up is NC State who's gonna be sort of a toss-up this will really decide how their season is gonna end if they can get a win here on the road uh, I think they can finish strong and make a good bowl game um, if they lose, I think it might send them into sort of a downward spiral, maybe a losing streak. Um, very, I don't know, very important game, probably for both schools, but definitely for Miami. Next up is Florida State, who will probably be in the top three schools in the ACC, um, potentially number one or two, along with Clemson. I think this one could be a little bit closer just because it's a rivalry um, on the road in Tallahassee does not help Miami, but I think it could be a little bit closer than some people will think at this point in the season um, purely because it is a rivalry. Now, depending on how that NC State game goes, maybe the FSU game, um, these last two games might be changed a little bit i don't know depending on how the team's feeling or whatever louisville is the next game um i think louisville's pretty decent this year um go watch my louisville video i think that was posted yesterday um but i do think the hurricanes should be able to beat louisville louisville is definitely better than uva but um Miami should get solid wins against both of those teams Finally, we have Boston College. This happens to be a rivalry, um, f completely opposite sides of the country, or if you go north to south, they're opposite. On the road, um, Chestnut Hill, I think is where Boston College plays, Massachusetts. Uh, I think Miami should get another win in that game to finish out the season on a two-game winning streak. If we break down the games here, uh, Miami should get wins over Miami, uh, Bethune-Cookman, Temple, and Georgia Tech, as well as UVA, Louisville, and Boston College for seven wins. And then I think they get at least one win in these last five games um, for at least a record of 8-4. and four. I could potentially see a 9-3 and three record, but I could also see 7-5. and five. This is a very difficult schedule. Um... Besides for the crummy out of conference games, well, you do yeah they do play some crummy out of conference games. Then they play probably 
a couple of the ACC bottom feeders, but the Clemson, North Carolina, and Florida State games are really holding the schedule up. Um, if it weren't for them, they'd probably be projected to have a lot better of a season. That is pretty much all I have to say about Miami. Um, if you're a Miami fan, let me know in the comments what do you think. Um, how is Miami going to do? Are they going to bounce back well from last season's 5-7 and seven record? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, thank you so much for watching, and until the next one, peace.